Pat McAfee. Pat McAfee Show. That's right. You guys know how much I love him. Uh, Pat McAfee is going full-time with College Game Day. Andrew Marchand over at the New York Post is the one that actually uh, released this news, and then McAfee confirmed it afterwards, uh, but he released it at like 11 p.m. On, uh, on the 6th, so a couple of days ago, Tuesday evening. It says he will be a full-time member of ESPN's College Game Day. The former punter turned multimedia performer will be on the show this Saturday from Austin, where number one Alabama will face Texas. So, basically, this is a fantastic, fantastic idea from ESPN. When Pat McAfee was on a few years ago on College Game Day, that show was absolutely electric. It was bonkers. Everything, he was must-see TV. There is nobody on game day right now that is must-see TV. Now, you guys know how much I love the Bear. You guys know how much I love Lee Corso, but Lee Corso's 87 years old. There are problems on that set. You have got to find somebody that can engage with that crowd. They brought in Jack Harlow, who's uh, apparently a rapper. I, I didn't know much about him, but he's in, he seemed pretty likable to me, but he didn't know a thing about college football. And Pat McAfee at least played college football and knows college football. He he is insanely entertaining. So this is a absolute bombshell. This is fantastic because Big Noon Kick was getting ready to start this weekend for Fox. This makes you want to watch ESPN. Now, I will tell you this. This contract had to be gargantuan for Pat McAfee to give up doing SmackDown on Friday nights. Like, he, he did say in his show that he talked to the WWE because he just signed a, a contract extension with them just a few months ago. Like, two more years or whatever it is. It was a pretty big deal. He is giving up SmackDown. Now, WWE told him it's not good for your health for you to be doing overnight flights from SmackDown over to wherever. And he's going to have to be on set at, like, 5 a.m., wherever these places are. 5 a.m. Eastern time, I think, or, or 6 or somewhere around there, uh, in order to get ready for the show. So, yeah, that was going to be quite a hassle. And I, I did, when I shared this out on Twitter, I did explain this is bananas. Like, his schedule is nuts. But he's always done this. Like, he, he does whatever he can to build his radio show, which, by the way, uh, FanDuel did a deal with him four years and pays a, in excess of $120 million over four years. So $30 million a year for his show to advertise FanDuel. That's insane. That's awesome. But yeah, props to him. Uh, everything he did on that show was awesome. Him jumping in the lake uh, when he first came on as a guest to uh, for the for the Jackrabbits for South Dakota State, like all of it. Um, and he's still doing the uh, the Omaha Productions thing where he's gonna uh, multicast with the Mannings or with with Peyton, I guess, uh, six college football games this year. So he's gonna do game day. And then he's going to go somewhere, and he's going to talk about whatever game is going to be on ABC or ESPN. Like, I mean, it just continues. And then he's going to have to keep up with Sunday NFL so that he can talk about it on a show on Monday through Friday. So it's, yeah, this is, this is bonkers. But cheers to him, because I think it is a fantastic move from College Game Day. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.